It's going to be a heavy night at the Baldwinsville Board of Education meeting getting underway in just under an hour. On everyone's mind there, the murder of District 9th grader Ava Wood. It is also likely the end of the months long battle to remove Superintendent Jason Thompson suspended for his drunk driving and crowd surfing at a football game last fall. News Channel 9's Madison Moore joining us live. She's at the district offices for us tonight. Madison, what vote is before the board tonight on the Thompson situation? Christy and Jeff, the Board of Education is expected to vote tonight on a separation agreement that would drop the disciplinary charges they brought against Thompson in exchange for his resignation, effective June 30th of this school year. In the suspended superintendent, he's been getting paid since the October 7th DWI arrest, making nearly $60,000 of taxpayer money while not working. If this separation agreement is passed tonight, Thompson will be paid until June 30th, totaling over $140,000. $48,000 in return for basically doing nothing. Now, a lot of that money, it, it is a lot of money, but it might be the better option for the board. Without a resignation, Thompson could drag legal battles out and get paid for months longer than June. Now, we do hope that this vote tonight frees up some of the board members to answer many of the questions we have been trying to ask on behalf of taxpayers for months. It will definitely be a jam-packed meeting tonight. We'll be sure to keep you updated on News Channel 9 11 at 11. For now, live in Baldwinsville, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Madison, thank you. The board will also vote tonight to hire a new interim superintendent who takes over February 1st. If approved, Kathleen Davis would earn $800 a day plus $800 per month for housing.